Hey there, everybody. I'm out here, and I got a new project for myself. Real quick project. Uh, farmer's market's coming up in about three weeks. And I'm getting older, and it's hard for me to offload my plants from my truck uh, and put, place them out for the uh, farmer's market. So I'm building a mobile greenhouse that I can also sell from. I put some plants together. And up here in the Pacific Northwest, we do get some late season frosts. And we're a little bit higher elevation than uh, some of the other county or the rest of the county here. So we might get an extra frost uh, late in the season, close to the farmer's market. And I don't want to have my plants all setting up uh, and die as I'm taking them to the farmer's market. So let's put this thing together. I picked up uh, about 10 uh two by eight pieces of pressure treated lumber I bought several one inch uh, PVC pipe along with uh, the pipe connectors got some white duct tape bunch of screws that I already had and I haven't decided yet whether I want to use six mil or two mil plastic and then few shelves here been working on the plans for quite a while looking to see what I wanted to do with it threw some plans together so I'll bring it back in after I have a little bit of it done okay well I have this thing loosely set up the way I want it I have not put any screws into it yet but the main thing is I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to where I wouldn't interfere with any plants that I put in this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to screw from the bottom uh, those bottom pieces into the uh, beams coming up. And then I will put on the top piece and then I'll uh, figure out the angle to come down for the support beam here. All right, so I got those pieces done. And before I put them in and actually put the top beam going across, I'm gonna lay down some six mil plastic going across here, make it a little bit easier for myself. That way I don't have to spend all day uh, uh, taping and connecting and everything. So let's put in some uh, six mil plastic. So I measured out about 20 feet of six mil. And this is 10 foot across. So I should be able to get into the entire trailer and up the sides, uh, both ends, uh, with this uh, plastic without doing too much more uh, cutting or taping. I can staple it onto the uh, uh, frame here and get it nice and tight. Plus, it'll hold up in traffic because it's six mil. Uh, the sides, I'm, uh, or the roof, I should say, I'll probably still use the uh, two mil just so I can get more light into it. But this should hold up. Uh, the reason why I'm putting it into the trailer on the bottom is so the wind won't come up and uh, freeze out my plants if we get that cold weather that I worry about. All right, got the plastic again. Tried to center it about as much as possible. Luckily, it's not a windy day today. And I'm going to be putting in uh, these beams now. Eh, I spoke too soon. There goes the wind. Okay, well, I got to put in, put an extra beam across the middle here. Give it a little support. I can tie off the uh, storage racks to it. That way the uh, highway won't shake up the uh, plants too much. Just put one piece in there sideways. Uh, that way I can... Keep it nice and smooth here, and I can roll plants out. Put some tomatoes here, and if I have a little bit smaller tomatoes or something, I can put them in here and then slide them out as I need them. So it's looking pretty good. Now for the really hard part. So I know there's an easier way to do angles, I think. But I am terrible with angles. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Put 
put that into the saw for a minute. Okay, well, I got the angles in. These are all nice and sturdy. That was a crazy angle to cut. All right, so I'm gonna take these uh, galvanized uh, nuts and bolts here. And I'm gonna be sticking them in and tighten them down really tight. That way, these pieces of wood won't bounce around as much and they won't go flying out by accident if uh, I'm going down the highway and this thing catches a crazy uh, gust of wind. Now that I have it all bolted in, I'm gonna go and uh, cut the uh, plastic that's around it, staple it in, tape it, and make this thing look a lot more like a greenhouse. All right, look at that. This thing's starting to look like a greenhouse. Mobile greenhouse, that is. So I pulled it tight, taped it in, stapled, reinforced most of the uh, places where I'm going to be, where I stapled it, including down the middle. And now it's time to put the roof on it. In order to put the roof on it, I'm going to be using this PVC pipe. 1 inch PVC with attachments. I broke it in half so that way I can put this piece here uh, to give it extra support. Well, I got one of them partially done and I don't think this 6 or this 2 mils uh going to be strong enough especially going down the highway. And uh I think I'm going to go to 6 mil, and I'll just open it up uh, during the day in order to let the sun in on the plants. Not to mention, they do get quite a bit of sun even in here with uh, 6 mil. So let's swap it out. All right, well, I changed my mind, and I decided to put uh, cross beams in here, a couple more cross beams. Give it a little bit more support, uh, keep it from bowing at the top and bottom as much. And now the next step is going to be putting these uh, galvanized uh, hose straps on. All right, well, I got the uh, pipe clamps in. Got a little temporary uh, piece here in order to hold it up. It's gonna go corner to corner. Then I'll take a bungee and bring it down just to tighten it down so the wind doesn't lift it up and make it fly away. Well, I got the uh, uh, support beams all put in. I used the excess pieces off these shelves. Bolted them in. That way these are easy removal. And also bungee straps on them. For the middle, all I did was uh, tape the uh, piece up on top. Put a bolt in down here hold that one in and these are on the outside uh, so they don't interfere with the uh, movement of the uh, roof coming up and down so I'm going to show you how I can uh, disassemble it and assemble it again really quick
Now all I have to do is bungee cord it down or support the straps, keep it from flapping in the wind, drive it home, and I'm good to go for the market. Putting it back up is just as simple. Now it is very important that you get some bungee cord on these things. Uh, I know from my past experience at the farmer's markets, occasionally you get the wind that just starts blowing through in the middle of the afternoon. You don't want this thing flying all over the place. So you need to have uh, something to strap it down so it stays in place. So one of the key things with any greenhouse build is controlling the air coming in and out, keeping the wind from blowing. So what I did for this one, is I took some seven inch pieces that I cut from my uh, uh, six mil plastic and I put it right up here and right up here makes it look sort of cool but what it, this is really going to do is it has a purpose is when the pieces come down I'm going to tuck those under and that way the wind can't blow inside as hard or as uh, bad as it could it's supposed to get pretty cool tonight I got a thermometer set up right here and because I don't have plants with soil to sink up the heat inside the greenhouse and to hold some of that heat, I just threw two uh, kitty litter containers in here full of water. They might not be enough for such a large space. Uh, before I go to the farmer's market, this thing's going to be filled with plants all the way across. And I want to fake the, the warmth of summertime inside my greenhouse. So this is going to supplement for having all the plants in here right now and I'm going to bring it back in uh, tonight when I actually or tomorrow morning when the uh, right before sunrise so that way I can get some temperature readings but before that I'm going to go and put a longer piece right across the top here so that way all the warm air doesn't just get out on the gap so see you in the morning so channel number five is the mobile greenhouse and channel number one is the outside air temperature as you can see it's real close uh, just barely keeping it above freezing so one of the things that can really mess up the greenhouse is too much heat so I've installed a nice fan here coming off of solar and you can see it's uh, blowing out this vent a little bit got a little bit of sun today a little bit overcast but for the most part uh, this will keep the very high temperatures out from inside the greenhouse well after testing this a few times and seeing how well it do in the nighttime temperature it looks like the uh, bottom is just letting all the cold air up um, I do have plastic sheet on the bottom, but it's still allowing some cold air to get in. It's just not quite keeping it warm in there. Uh, maybe a degree or two, if that. So when I put my plants in, I'm going to go ahead and set in one of my 100-watt uh, heat mats, maybe two of my 100-watt heat mats in there, just to make sure I don't uh, kill any plants so I can get them down to market. Other than that, got my final touches on, got my flag on. This thing is ready to go for the market. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Push that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.